M0 FXB, welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to install the firmware on our USDR Plus, the Red Corners model, using this Arduino Uno board. The firmware that we're going to use is by GWA RDI on the right hand side. So to get that, create a new folder. So we're going to go right click, new folder, and then call it GWA RDI install. Then all you do is click the green code, it says code, like so, and go to where it says zip. Just here it says zip, download the zip, it goes to your downloads folder here, click that, and then extract it to that folder. So we'll just go extract, and select the folder that we called GWA, all in alphabetical order, click OK, and then just check inside that folder. We've got everything we need. Just double click it, and this is the everything we're gonna need. The main one we need is this one here, USDX Red Corners. Okay, that's the one that we want. Next, go to this link, and I will provide all links in the description. Arduino here, just on the right, and download this program. This is going to be used to program our Arduino board to be a firmware loader and to load the firmware into the USDR. So just click here where it says Windows 10, that's what I've got. There are other options here, Linux, Mac, ETC, but I'm just gonna do this one here. And it does ask for a contribution. You don't have to, just download. Then it says here, just download, and there you are, you're gonna get that at the top download and verified and I have already downloaded it I'll just show it you now when you first load it it does sort of load up um, several items so we'll just click it and run it and just go agree and go next yes agreeing everything at the moment of course at your own risk Installing Arduino IDE has been installed on your computer. Run Arduino, finish. That's quite a sophisticated program. I remember I'm a novice, you know, don't think that I'm just because I'm making a video that I I am an expert on this. I'm definitely not. I but I what I am willing to do is work hard to try and get my USDR working with this new firmware that Rob has made, GWARDI. So there you are, we've now got that software on our PC. So the next thing we're gonna do is dismantle our USDR. So I'll just show you the board that I purchased. It was only six pound, I was very pleased with that. Hopefully it will work fine. It says here, Uno on the board. I'll put the link for that in the description as well. You can see it on the left there. That's the one. So what we're gonna do is turn the device off and we'll start off by removing the top screws and the knob. So we'll just take these two off to start, like so, take them off. And also this outer knob here for the BNC. We need to take that off as well and the knob should just Pull off, look. Okay. We'll also move this, remove this nut here. And these two screws here. And then it all just comes loose and just pull the side off, just being wary of not to yank any cables that might be connecting the speaker ETC. My plate comes off, and then these rubber, the rubber section just comes off. You can see the battery there, look. Then we'll turn it round, and uh, take some more screws off. We've got screws here, 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 and here. And we make sure we're in the off position as well. And we'll take the side off. 
try not to lose any bits. So there's the side. Put that to one side. And then we've got some nuts and bolts here holding it together. It's nice and compact. You can see it that looks like a speaker connector there. Yeah, they packed a lot in there, didn't they? So now we're going to carefully pull upwards um, just to get them to separate and then unplug the speaker. Of course, don't strain the speaker cable. So I would say this is the sort of trickiest part. So what I've done is I've sort of got a screwdriver and we're just starting to lever it up and wiggle it. See the gap here? It's wiggling it apart. Eventually, just take it easy. You've got this sort of where it grips in this gap here. Remember to unplug this. Now, once you've got a bit of room, you can pull that connector off as well for the speaker. You'll find that the buttons will fall out as well. Look, there's the buttons. I found that when I pulled the, you know, the speaker connector off, it came, it came off the pins, but it's still fine. So yeah, you literally have to get a screwdriver in between the gap and the sort of that shape here and here on the other side and you have to pry it up it is quite stiff actually but eventually it does come and then you end up with <coughs> with this and then we need to remove this screen and this board and there's put some they have there is some glue there that we're gonna have to remove. so just be careful once just carefully remove the glue and then undo the glue and undo these small bolts that you see there. Get my hand out of the way. There you are. And once the boards are out of the way, you can get to the connectors and you can leave them off while you're programming. You'll see that you've got that sort of PTT button on top. If that wasn't there, I think the whole lot would slide out. You'll find that the glue, you know, does hinder the nuts coming off a bit. Be careful you don't knock any of these components as well. Just take your time when your fingers are near this, this component here that you don't knock it off the board or any other components. But the way you do it is once you start to loosen that, then what you can do, just get something plastic and pull it, as you pull it upwards, just to gently put pressure on, then the center part of the thread that holds these items on will will lock because there's a screw at the other end which you can't really get to very well you can sort of see them in there um just so you can turn the end bit uh, without the whole lot turning so just persevere but take your time and, and always be conscious of those components so eventually after really fiddling for ages and take, getting the glue off and somehow propping the screw from underneath you are able to lift off the switch board, which is just six pins that go here, like so, and then the the actual display, which you can see just here, pulls off here. Just slide that upwards. The main thing I was worried about taking this off is this component here this is the one that if you're going to catch one it's this one here otherwise it lifts off and you can everything you need to do you can now do using connecting some pins and some wires to these connectors here these there are six connectors here hopefully just make sure you haven't accidentally turned on the device Make sure it's in the middle position, which is the. Let me get some focus here. The off position there. Okay, next step is let's connect our Arduino board that we purchased. We've got the IDE program already downloaded. You can see 
the download on the right hand side and it's in the in the description we've plugged in the, the board it's now connected to our PC if we go right click on the Windows square and go device manager we'll just see what port number we've got just here double click ports and it's COM2 you can see it there so we know the COM number now let's start up the program which is IDE, I've created a shortcut for mine. We we'll just click it there and that will open up and let's follow this procedure. Okay, let's connect our UNO board. We know it's COM2, we'll go to COM2 here and then it directs us to this page and we're looking for Arduino UNO. So scroll down till we see that mini call with a long list there's Arduino Uno we'll double click that and then we'll we know it's COM2 we'll click OK connect the board then we'll go with the drop down here select COM2 then we'll go file example then go down to Arduino ISP across and click that we get this window up here okay then we'll go sketch sketch then upload says compiling sketch seems to be working done uploading then our board is ready to be a firmware loader the next step is to connect the wires pins to the UNO board and then over to the USDX so if you look here we're looking at the numbers 10 11 12 13 and ground so number 10 is green number 11 is yellow number 12 is purple number 13 is blue and then finally black is ground this is the the diagram that i've been using so pause it and um, double check everything it's not the clearest diagram but i'll put the link in for this in the description as well with the board facing you and you've got the bnc connector here look we've got the six pins on the board and just have a look i've got the, the ones nearest to us black on the left yellow remember it's yellow because the other color that's anywhere near that is going to be the green it's just over there and so we have an empty pin just check it out here an empty pin just here before we connect the rest so I've turned the board round so it's easier but you can now see that we've got purple blue and green and the wires that I've purchased are GPIO wires you can buy them in packs these cables um, and they, you know coming like packs of 20 and they're very cheap GPIO pins or cables find them on eBay and Amazon so you can see what's happening there now if I just turn it round uh, the other way completely round you can see that on this side we've got the black and the yellow on the left so ground and I haven't changed what what you know what I just showed you uh, in the previous part when we were connecting the UNO board so in theory we're all connected up now let's move on to the next step okay we're at the last stage so go to the folder that we created earlier that has the G W A R D R R D I look and that's the software there and we're going to be using the one that's called red corners okay but we do need to create a new folder first so go just close that a second go to somewhere that's blank on your computer so right click then you go new folder but you have to name it usdx red corners and i'll type that 
in the in the description but it's usdx in small letters then big letters red corners now double click the file that we got from rob which is here thank you very much rob done an amazing job double click and we're going to drag the one that's called red corners into that new folder that we've named because if you don't do it this way it won't work so right that's in there and we can now double click that the new folder and then double click where it says usdx red corners And we can, where it says here, select board, we're going to go, ah, we haven't plugged it in yet. Let's do the changes first. So scroll down, like so. Um, there's a lot of changes you can make if you know what you're doing. But for me, I'm just going to add my call sign. So we'll just go M0FXB. And here, and I will learn, I'll speak to Rob about what changes we I can do. And then here it says Rob, so... Only five characters, I think, and A N D Y. So Andy for now. And that's enough for now. We need, you know, we've got more to learn. So that's the few changes made. We're going to plug our board in, just into the USB, and obviously the the other end is at the the PC. We know we know we've connected the cables. We're also now that it's on, we'll select COM two. which is here and then going down we're looking for Arduino Uno make sure you get the right one there it is and we're going to better turn on our board so turn it to the battery position if you're not sure where that is you can see it starts to flash a bit if you're not sure where that is then um, just get the plate that you took off the end and click OK and then you could go tools and just go to where is it tools programmer and just make sure it's Arduino ISP and then go sketch upload program using I know that was a bit fast then wasn't it it's doing it now anyway uploading everything's flashing away shouldn't take too long it just says uploading at the very bottom it's about two minutes I think and I did put the buttons back on because I wanted to see them flashing I didn't actually you didn't need to take the buttons off uh, even though I did don't touch anything you don't want to mess with anything while it's doing this and at the end of it we'll put on the speaker there you are, it says done. At the end of it, we'll put on put on the speaker and uh, just have a little test. And then, then we're just going to put the whole thing back together in reverse order from earlier.